all the fine FM Ultimix at six party brought to you by Tiger Wheel and Tire. Ultimix at six time. Ladies and gentlemen, the Fresh Drive Ultimix. Brought to you by Tiger Wheel and Tire. Lucky ladies and gents, my name is Mike Perry and I am very, very honored and privileged to be sitting down in Arbitha at the Cafe Mumbo studio with none other than South Africa's DJ Fresh. How are you? I'm good, brother. How you doing, man? Yeah, really, really good, man. Good to have you and the 5FM crew out in Arbitha. Now it's good to be here and a big up to you guys for making things happen. I think uh, dance music needs this all the time. Yeah, man, definitely, bro. It's all yeah. just about educating and getting people to exactly. know about what's going on and know, you know, who to follow and what to, why to follow them, yeah. bro. So tell me, what's this whole trip about you and the 5FM Drive team all coming out, the Fresh Drive team all coming out to Ibiza for four days, yeah? Uh, yeah, well, myself and uh, DJ Euphonic, we yeah. come here pretty much every year now. And uh, we make sure our trip happens the first week of uh, September. So this year, 5FM decided, listen, you guys are going anyway, so why don't we find a sponsor, then you can take the whole team to the show from the party a little and, you know, uh, network a bit, and that's what we've done. And actually get to experience our ether and bring all the team up. Yeah, so, you know, it was almost team building for my radio show and the yeah. team, but it's a trip I was making, you know, where that was happening with the team or not, so, so yeah. Nice one. And so Raymond's been looking after you guys and a few other people on the island as well. How has uh, has the week been? Tell me what you guys have been up to. The week's been crazy because we're literally burning the candle at both ends. Yeah. Because we're doing the radio show during the day. We're partying all night, the whole night. You're trying to sleep in the morning, but you also have shopping to do yeah. and places to see, stuff to do. So it's 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 literally a juggle. But listen, dude, I live for this. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've 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 lived for house music since I was 13. Yeah. Um, I recently turned four. And that's all I do, that's all I know, and that's all I want to do. So if it means uh, burning candle at both ends, I'll do it. It's the way of the life, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. And what's been your highlight of the trip so far? Um, funny enough, the highlight of my trip was actually Flower Power at Pasha. That's yes, nice body, isn't it? I was like, listen, <laughs> I love house music, I love dance music, EDM, whatever you want to call it. but. How's music from the 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s gonna throw a party like that? It was, and I think it's an experience you're not expecting. Yeah. So you go in there not knowing what exactly to expect. And then when you see the production behind oldies and classics, yeah. you're like, wow, yeah, yeah. 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 So funny enough, that was my highlight so far. For sure. Yeah. Me too, a lot of the time. Sometimes, because it's Tuesday, it's Carl Cox yeah. at Space or Flower Power. So sometimes it'll be Carl Cox, a whole lot of hardcore techno until about yeah. three in the morning, yeah. and then I'll throw my afro and get some hippie trousers on, exactly. and in we go to Flower Power for. <laughs> but but uh, Sven Vath also did a, a decent set at Amnesia. Yeah. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I was there with uh, Euphonic. And uh, as with many people nowadays, you know, the minute a hot song comes on, you take out your phone, you put your Shazam on. <laughs> and for two hours, Euphonic picked up zero tracks that Sven was playing. Yeah. Because you can Shazam some DJ sets. Yeah. And I think that's where the world needs to go. Yeah. Your, your DJ sets should be so hot, so original, so many different elements that you can't Shazam it. You know what I mean? That For me, that's when you've put work effort and love into your DJ set. It's easy to download a song and mix it. You know, it's easy to hit the sync button. So what are you doing additionally, you know, to make your set stand out? And, you know, and that's why I always say that generally the top 100 DJs are the top 100 DJs because they work like the top 100 DJs. You know what I mean? Yes, a lot of it is smoke, mirrors, and a bit of hype. But you still have to work hard to maintain that. Yeah, yeah it's still show business. It's, it's still show business. I mean, the fact that Guys that were considered underground, uh, you know, you're looking at your Richie Hortons, looking at your Luci uh, Lucianos. On the underground scene, the other rock stars. I mean, that was unheard of 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they had a following, but it's almost reached cult status now. Yeah. I mean, uh, I was at a Luciano party in Miami at the Delano uh, this year, and the kids were losing it. I was like, and half the songs the kids didn't know, yeah. because it's new stuff with stuff he's recently made, yeah. but the kids were losing it. And for me, there's hope yeah, sure. that kids still want to hear stuff they haven't heard before, stuff they haven't heard in the, on the radio yet. So, yeah. So yeah, yeah. And talking about what the kids want to hear, what, what are the South African kids listening to now? Listen, I think um, South Africa, I feel, is still one of the healthiest markets in terms of radio supports dance music. Yeah. Um, especially the urban radio. So, you know, depending on uh, where you're going or where you are, um, a lot of the kids are loving the local productions, man. Yeah. I mean, uh, we, we played at uh, Boom last night, uh, myself and Euphonic, and 90% of our set was South African house music. 
you know what I mean? And I mean, we're listening to uh, guys playing, we're losing our minds. What is this? What is this? We played our set, they're running to us asking, what is like, yeah. oh, this is the stuff from back home. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's a beautiful flip on, you know, how things used to be. That guys are trying to Shazam South African stuff that we were playing. So there's a guy who comes to us at the end of our set and says, I Shazam to play a track you played, but this doesn't quite sound right. I'm like, yeah, Shazam gave you the wrong name. <laughs> so I mean, that's where the world is going. And I mean, it's so beautiful. Awesome. Yeah. Great to hear, because look, honestly, when I left South Africa, I remember the house scene being really, really strong. Um, some of the nightclubs like Tilt and 3.30 yes. back in the day, I used yes. to hear some of the best music I've heard. Went through a massive journey around, you know, countries in 10 years. And, yeah. and last year, it got a bit despondent in the music scene until I found some of the some of the deep house that came back again yes. and it actually reminded me of the stuff you know that was on your compilations the old fresh house flavors that we all fell in love with back in the day in fact we've literally just re-released fresh house flavor one and two yeah. uh yes this is almost what 18 years later and it still made it onto the musica charts <laughs> it still made it onto the musica charts i was like how does catalog <laughs> chart yeah. that's what it is <laughs> but yeah we re-released one and two and uh fresh house flavor seven is coming out in uh in october on the 7th of october okay. and then we'll re-release three and four uh i think february but we're gonna just work it until we get to 10 do a nice box set but it's available on itunes you can download it on itunes so it's yeah fresh house flavor is back dude. that's so cool man because yeah. like for so many of us I've, I've had over the last uh few months this season especially um so many south african coming over to visit like friends that I've had for 18 years yes. and all just happens to be now coming to Ibiza and experiencing it but for all of them we were all influenced massively by those albums right? yeah, they were yeah, amazing those yeah, compilations thank you very much man yeah that's yeah. really great so um, what are you up to now in South Africa man so like what's big for Fresh and what's big for the, the scene at the moment for you guys um, obviously I've been I've been working on uh, Fresh House Flavor and I mean traditionally Fresh House Flavor has always been a compilation but I've managed to find time to actually use a studio that I built for myself about seven, eight years ago. Yeah. So I'm literally putting I'm putting in studio time now. Yeah. So you know from October you'll be able to get a lot of my tracks on track source, be port, iTunes. Yeah. And uh, for me that's always been a struggle. That I wanna do it, I'm not finding the time. So I'm finally finding the time and I'm loving it. And it's like a drug. Yeah. You know, you, you knock out one track, you're like, flip, I want to do it again. And it just feeds itself. So that's, that's what I'm busy with right now. Obviously, there's a radio show I'm still working on. And just gigging, it's, it's crazy. I mean, I'm booking almost 12 months in advance now. So it's, 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 it's crazy. I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you were saying just now, that's pretty awesome. You know, you're so booked up, you had to turn down ADE. <laughs> Well, that's not that's not always great, but that's a pretty powerful position. You know, the, se the security of bookings in advance is a beautiful thing, yeah. but it means you can't make spontaneous trips. Yeah, yeah. You can't just pack and say, okay, you know, well, fuck it, I'm going to ADE. Yeah. You know, so everything has to be planned. So what I'm doing now is my office are working my calendar way in advance. What are the major events? What days do we book off? so that they don't take bookings and I can get to do what I love, yeah, you know what I mean? So so we, we're doing that. So we're doing that now with, from next year, we do Miami obviously in March. Yeah. We'll come here every September and we'll do AD in October. So those are going to be my three uh, meccas, uh, as it were. So, so yeah, man. We're joining you for the pilgrimage. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Great stuff. Just a few more questions. I know you got to get back on radio in a yeah, second. Yeah. So listen, just want to know, out of South Africa at the moment, in terms of venues and artists, where would you say is like popping up the most for you? Which venues are really bringing some cutting edge artists or doing some good stuff? And which artists are you seeing pop up? You know what, I think the sad thing with a lot of our nightlife is that it's not traditional clubbers. Yeah. There are a lot of good venues putting a lot of money into what they do, but they're targeting 18, 19, 20 old kids yeah. who want to hear the same shit that they listen to in their cars that they hear on the radio. Then what's the point? But because, you know, they booked you, that's what the kids want to hear. Yeah. So, you know, as much as you might want to educate the kids uh, all the time, you, you don't always have a chance to do that because the kind of crowd that goes to where you might be booked want to hear Avicii, want to hear Swedish House Mafia yeah. and taking nothing away from, you know, those guys work hard but I want to be able to play what I feel you ought to be educated about yeah. so it's becoming frustrating so there are a lot of guys, you know, different pockets of guys doing parties you know, rooftop, underground in Cape Town but it's... 
you know, for me, yes, there's real clubbing, but there's not enough of it. I mean, once a month, I do a, a 6 a.m. set at ESP. And I mean, that's still going strong. I mean, uh, and I, I, I live for that. Because I know that, yes, it's 6 in the morning, the sun is uh, rising, but for three hours, I play what I love and nothing else. And you know the crowd are there with you. Yeah. So I'm loving the fact that ESP is still going. You know, I think that uh, they're obviously trying to clean up the image because yeah. the image, uh, you know, took a bit of a bashing. But you know, it's it's it's, it's becoming a decent uh, jolt to go to. Yeah. And um, I think also Truth are doing good things. Truth are doing. Uh, I mean, they they're still going strong. <laughs> and the reason they're going strong is they've stayed true to what they do and who they are. They haven't tried to be something else because no one else is doing what Truth do anyway. Yeah. At least not at the level that they're doing it. Yeah. So I mean, without fail, you're guaranteed, you know, kick-ass local and international DJs are true. And that's a beautiful thing. And I think, uh, you know, on the more, you know, EDM, EDM side, obviously the guys at Electric, you know, that they're bringing all the big, the big, the big artists yeah. to Axwells, Swedish House Mafias. I mean, there's a market for that. Yeah, that's yeah. why they're doing it. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing it. Yeah. So I mean, that is, I mean, that's a beautiful thing, also. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect, man. Fresh. Well, listen, last two questions. Uh, we're here in Arvita, living an amazing time here yeah. at Cafe Mumbo Studios today. Tell me, what's going to be the, uh, your favorite thing about Arvita? Wow, I think uh, for me, it's just the carefree attitude of the island. There's, there's a, you almost understand why so many people come here and never go back home. Uh, you know, uh, those that shan't be mentioned, but that happen to be holding microphones in front of me, for example. And you, I, I was actually telling my wife that had I come here when I was 18, 19, 20, I would have gone back home. And you, you understand why. There's something about this island that says, come on, where are you going? You know what I mean? And I mean, I, I've met people that are not necessarily living it up the way they might have been living it up back home but they are happy yeah. and that's the life they've chosen and you know that's what they want to do that's what they want to live and I think you know take a chance on yourself yeah. if you think you know you you the rest of your life lies on this island then do it yeah. you know what I mean so for me that's what it is it's yeah. definitely a pull toward this island yeah. and you feel that you're meant to be here if you're yeah. meant to be here um, and lastly Fresh we're on Lucky Life TV so tell me man you live a very lucky life um, but what's going to be the luckiest thing that you reckon is ever happened to you? Wow, I think the luckiest thing that has ever happened to me has to have been all the breaks I've gotten. I, I always seem to be at the right time, at the right place, at the right place at the right time, all the time. And, you know, they say hard work, luck happens when when you work, if you work, what, what did, who was it that said, the harder I work, the luckier I become? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I found that to be true. I'm, I'm, I'm finding that because I'm willing to work, yeah. people are willing to take a chance on me. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, and, I, and I appreciate that. I think my entire career, from when I started, I mean, I started DJing when I was 13. Yeah. Because someone took a chance. Yeah. And my first paid gig was only when I was, I think, 18. Yeah. Someone took a chance. My first radio gig, I was 19. Because someone took a chance. And that's just, I've been lucky like that with stuff like that. But having said that though, luck alone, you know, if luck fall, falls on your lap and you don't have a plan, then it's a wasted falling of luck onto your lap. You know what I mean? You have to, you have to be ready for luck when she decides that it's your turn to leave. So, so yeah, yeah, man. Work hard and you'll become lucky. Yeah, you gotta meet it halfway, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, wicked. Well, guys, that's myself here, Mike Perry on Lucky Live TV. Very happy to be catching up with my man, DJ Fresh. Thank you so much, dude. My pleasure, man. Thank, Thank you, much. bro. Ciao.